Today we are going to look at just how easy it is to integrate ClickSense content securely into a custom web portal using the Click Ticketing API. I've created this web page as a mock-up of a freight company website. For simplicity, we are just going to enter a username for validation, but the process we will discuss could be used with virtually any third-party authentication system. Before I show this simple demonstration, let's take a quick look at the processes involved. The first step in our authentication process is to collect from the user a username and password. When the user enters their details, these are typically submitted to a web page and some server-side script would check whether the details are correct. Let's assume our user Al Matthews submitted their details and the web server then is checking against the database. If the credentials are incorrect, the user is typically routed back to try again. But if the credentials are correct, the user will be sent to a web page, perhaps a portal landing page for example. If you are considering integrating Click into your existing site, you most likely already have this much covered. So let's look at one approach for integrating ClickSense in a secure manner into this process. The Click Ticketing API is one simple approach you can use. Using this API, we insert a step here to fetch a ticket for our user from the ClickSense server. We do this by sending a request to the ClickSense proxy service using the Ticketing REST API. Why does the ClickSense server respond to this request from the web server? It's because we've copied the ClickSense server security certificates to the web server, and these effectively act as a master key to the APIs. Notice that we are requesting a ticket for a specific user. This implies that it is necessary to have a list of users in ClickSense. Although we are not using this list for authentication, our web server has handled that, we do use the list for authorization or determining what our user Al Matthews can do once they have been granted access. Therefore, it is necessary to synchronize users between our authentication platform and ClickSense. The good news is that this is out of the box functionality. Click takes care of this once you set up a user directory connector to synchronize the data. Once we have our ticket, we can embed it in the document that is sent to the user's browser. This ticket is only valid for a short period of time and one time use. This prevents a ticket from being used to compromise the security of your ClickSense site. Once the user's browser receives the web page, client-side JavaScript is used to fetch content from the ClickSense server using the ticket in the URL. This ticket is recognized as valid by the ClickSense server and information is returned in the response header to create a cookie and a WebSocket connection. So in terms of the two steps we added, this one is a server-side process using the certificates which are securely stored on the web server to get a ticket. This one is client-side code using the ticket to establish a secure WebSocket connection directly between the browser and the ClickSense server. Let's take a look at our secure integration with ClickSense in action. I enter my credentials and behind the scenes a ticket is fetched from the REST API embedded in the web page and the ClickSense content is sent to my browser. I have full functionality to explore my data and all charts work together by default. This secure integration is easily achieved using Click's modern, flexible, industry standard APIs. Let's take a quick look at the code used in this example. For this demonstration, I've created a web server using Node.js, so JavaScript is used for the server-side process to fetch a ticket. Firstly, we define the options required to connect to the server, including the location of the certificate files. Then, we send a HTTPS request to the proxy REST API using these options, extract the ticket from the response, and embed it into the HTML sent to the user. Here, the client-side JavaScript used to fetch the ClickSense visualizations is shown. Firstly, we request a custom JavaScript library from the ClickSense server using the ticket embedded in the URL. This request establishes the WebSocket connection automatically, after which we can use the JavaScript library functions to connect to a Click application and fetch charts and embed them into div tag placeholders in the HTML. If you wish to learn more about the ClickSense APIs, simply go to help.click.com and then select the developers link. From there you can explore the detailed content which includes further code snippets and examples. If you have further questions, contact Click or your nearest Click partner. Thank you for watching.